But by the end of this video, you will know 100% which one of these is right for you. Let's start with the pros of SiteGround. And the first pro is it's one of only three companies that WordPress themselves recommends to host WordPress sites. So that's a pretty big deal that WordPress actually recommends this company, but it doesn't stop there. They're also really easy to set up. They're pretty fast service and they're reliable. But another one of the biggest pros for me is it comes with a free SSL certificate. So that's a lot of pros for SiteGround, but there are some cons. One of the first cons is that it's not the cheapest option out there. It's about a mid price. It's, it's also not the most expensive. Overall, I do think SiteGround is some of the best bang for your buck, but there are cheaper options out there if money is very tight for you. Another con is that their hosting plans come with a limit to how much data you can actually upload to the server. So if you have a website that's gonna have a ton of high resolution graphics, a ton of high resolution videos that you're trying to upload to the server, SiteGround may not be the best option for you. Next up is Bluehost, and they're also recommended by WordPress themselves to be used as a hosting service for WordPress. But here's a dirty little secret about Bluehost. Part of the reason they're one of the most popular hosting companies out there is because they pay a very high affiliate commission. A lot of people out there say that Bluehost is the best because they make the most money off of it. Now that being said, I do think Bluehost is great and I do personally use them, but if I were to do it over again, I think that they're a little bit overpriced, so that's a con as well. Another popular hosting company is GoDaddy. Do not use GoDaddy, do not go with them. They spend a lot of money on marketing. They don't spend as much money on actually creating a great product and on top of that, they're overpriced. Whatever you do, just do not go with GoDaddy. GoDaddy is fine for buying a domain name, but they try to upgrade you to the services of hosting and they get unsuspecting people to pay that extra premium for their hosting. It's not worth it. A2 Hosting has one of the fastest server times out there and it's a decent price, but on a con, it's not one of the most reliable. In fact, just a little while ago, they got hacked and a lot of their sites went down. Now that being said, their uptime was still at 99 plus percent but they're not the most reliable of all the different companies. HostGator is a very popular hosting company, and here's a fun little fact. It's owned by the same parent company that owns Bluehost. And so both Bluehost and HostGator are very, very similar. But one con for HostGator is it's actually not recommended by WordPress themselves. And in my opinion, if I were to choose between Bluehost or HostGator, I personally would go with Bluehost, but you can check the prices down below. Both these hosting companies are obviously very similar, and you can't go wrong with either one of them. WP Engine is unlike any of the other companies we've talked about so far in the hosting space. They're one of the fastest, they're one of the most reliable, the best customer support out there, but a big con is you're gonna pay for it. It's 10 times the price of any other company we've talked about. So if your WordPress site is very, very, very important to you and you wanna pay a premium for that great customer support, it may make sense to go with WP Engine. I personally would never do it. All the other ones that we've talked about so far have really good customer support as well, but WP Engine does take it to that next level. InMotion is another popular hosting company, and to be honest with you, I don't see any big pros with using them. Their uptime and their speed was mediocre, and their price is actually double what a lot of the other platforms we've talked about so far are. So personally, I would never go with InMotion. Next up is Hostinger, and the big pro is it's one of the cheapest ones out there. The prices do fluctuate. I do have links down below and up here so you can get the latest price but if money is your number one concern then Hostinger is probably a good option for you so to me that is the one con with them is you do get what you pay for so if money's really tight you can go with them you can try it out and maybe it'll make sense for you I personally would not use them but like I said if money's tight this is an option last up on our list of top 10 hosting companies is DreamHost and a big pro for them again is they are recommended by WordPress themselves so it's one of only three companies that WordPress recommends to host WordPress websites. So that's a big pro. However, on the con side, they're more expensive than SiteGround or Bluehost, which are also recommended by WordPress. And I don't think they have added features that make it worth that extra price tag. Now it's time to announce a winner. And I think the answer is, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for the fastest company out there, A2 Hosting is a great option. If you're looking for the cheapest hosting company out there, Hostinger is a good option. If you're looking for an old but reliable company, Bluehost is a great option. It's what I personally use, but the truth is if I were to do it all over again, I wouldn't use any of these. I would for sure go with SiteGround. And as promised, I have the hookup. I have discounted pricing on all these platforms for you. You can check up here in the links or down below the links in the show note. 
and as an added bonus, I get a small kickback from the hosting company. So as a thank you and as a bonus to you, I'll give you a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one consulting session to help you get up and running with your WordPress website. Buying hosting and creating my first website was one of the best things I've ever done. It allowed me to quit my job and get my freedom. So whatever stage you're at right now, take that next little step. If you're ready to start your website, use the links and let's get started. Let's build a website together. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'm excited to get started on this journey with you.